Hey, Motorman here, and I'm at Action Honda, and believe it or not, they're gonna let me take a brand new motorcycle for a ride. Granted, it's a demo for that purpose, but that's a rare occasion, and the bike I'm gonna ride is this new CB650E. E should be interesting. I'm gonna take it for a ride right now. So the first thing upon sitting on this bike, I notice it's 31 inch seat height thereabouts, but because the bike is very narrow, you could easily get uh, flat foot the motorcycle if that's your concern. And what I wanted to try first, as I usually do on most motorcycles, is the low speed ability of the motorcycle. And generally, bikes with four cylinder, six cylinder motorcycles, and even some of the, the twin cylinder bikes have a very light flywheel. And that means that the throttle is going to be extremely sensitive. So when you get on the bike, start it in neutral, put the bike in first gear, the default position is you don't have to use the clutch. Uh, the first gear is a little touchy because of that sensitive throttle. So I tried second gear, and that made a world of difference. Still not using the clutch, but you give it a little throttle and the clutch naturally slips just enough to get the bike going without stalling. And the bike has enough torque to easily start off or do any kind of maneuvers in second gear. Even third gear would work. Uh, once you get out onto the road, yeah, you want to take advantage of the fact that you could use the clutch or not use it. If you use the clutch, it's going to react just exactly like any other manual transmission shifting from first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and up to sixth gear with the clutch or without it. Now, if you've ever ridden a bike with a quick shifter on it, it's you'll understand how this works. If you don't use the clutch, you just pull up on the shifter, and as you do so, it's extremely smooth. Full throttle up shift or downshift, doesn't matter. It works beautifully. This is really the best of both worlds. This would come in especially handy uh, for people, for low speed handling, for people who are not uh, just as proficient as they should be with the clutch and throttle, but also out on a racetrack. If you've ever done a track day, you know there's a lot of things you need to be thinking about as you're approaching a turn. Are you in the right gear coming out of the turn? Are you in the correct gear to start accelerating? And not having to worry about where the clutch is at or touching the clutch at all would really come in handy. Unlike the DC transmission on the Go Wings, which has no clutch at all, I, I believe you just have so much more control here because you've got that choice. Do you want to use the friction zone for low speed handling? You've got it. And if you don't want to at any other time, you don't have to. I would hope that this type of transmission is going to well, start spreading to other manufacturers and other uh, Honda uh, models. I, I would think that that should be a pretty easy thing to do to adapt it to all of Honda's models. And I would highly recommend that. Uh, if I were to buy one a, a bike like this and I had a choice of the a regular manual transmission or the E-Type, I think I would take the E-Type because th there's just no drawbacks to it that I could find while riding it. Now, this particular motorcycle, of course, is, is a naked bike. And, you know, they, they used to call this a standard. You could consider it a standard or naked bike. They also make the, a sport bike version of it that, of course, comes with the fairing and a different riding position, so you're leaning forward. But this is fairly upright, so to me, it's a, a comfortable riding position. And the bike itself has plenty of power. Now, of course, with the, the six-speed transmission on this, when you get into six gear and you're getting above, let's say, 70 miles an hour, you might be trying to find uh, another gear that course isn't there it doesn't mean it's lacking for power at any speed i mean you can cruise at 100 miles an hour if you want it on this bike but just be aware that yeah it's going to get you're going to hear that motor and feel that well i wish they gave it another gear at least that was the sensation i got and that's true with a, a lot of different motorcycles uh, in this this type of bike the the standards even the sport bikes where you wish that you had a couple of more gears but as far as the the way the motorcycle rides and handles it's been around for quite a few years i think it's in the top of the middle class uh, middleweight motorcycles it's a excellent handling bike you're, you're almost never going to find the, its lean limits out on the street and hopefully you wouldn't try that because it, i'm betting it'll lean at over 45 degrees and when you get up to that lean angle 45 degrees or more even though your pegs aren't scraping there is a chance you could lose traction now i know some of the sport bikes or you watch moto gp they're leaning at 65 degrees but they're also using racing slicks so the handling is excellent. You got plenty of power on this bike. It shifts easily if you if you're uh, 
thinking, well, you know, maybe this is going to have a different feel to it as you go up or down on the, the shift lever, but it doesn't. It's, it's just like a manual transmission. If that's your choice, you use it manually, or you could use the uh, no clutch shift up or down uh, in corners. You're coming around a corner. You're not sure if you're in the right gear. The shift is so smooth that, uh, you know, even at a, if you're going at a pretty good clip, I wouldn't worry about shifting while you're in the turn. So hustle down to Action Honda. Take this bike for a ride. They rarely have demo bikes, but they do have this one. And tell me what you think about it. And comment below. Please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. They are overstocked with bikes now, so I'm sure you can get some really good deals at Action Honda. Thanks for watching.